Havoc. Time now for the recurve men's gold medal match. Kim Wujin against Kim Ji Yuk. Well, here we go for gold in the recurve men's division. It's another amazing lineup. Both Olympic team members for Korea for the Tokyo Olympic Games are just 17 years old. This man here, Kim Jidyok, is, well, a continuation of the factory that Korean archery is. But Kim Woo Jin is the world number five and a formidable opponent. It will be Kim Woo Jin to shoot first. The 28 year old will get this medal match underway. Up into the nine. Matched a very uncomplicated process from the 17 year old Kim Woo Jin staying focused. Oh, didn't look happy with that, but that's gone into the X. Drop that into the nine. So a big opportunity here. Ten will put the 17-year-old two set points to nil up. And he's hit it. Kim ji Jiuk has got off the mark here against Kim Woo Jin. Very, very comfortably. He looked solid. He looked very composed. 17-year-old was a World Youth Individual Bronze Medalist in 2019 in Madrid, I believe, and took the team gold at the same competition. Kim Woo Jin, well, he's got a gold medal from the Olympic Games in the team event from uh, Rio 2016. The 2018 Hyundai Archery World Cup final champion. And uh, that was a consecutive win because he'd won the same competition in 2017. And Kim Woo-jin also took the silver medal at the uh, Tokyo Test Event in 2019. Finds himself behind here, though, as we go in to set number two. It will be Kim Woo-jin who will shoot first. Good start. All about putting the pressure on when you're shooting first. Just looks so solid, so composed. Well, he wasn't happy with that. You saw the reaction. It's only just out of the 10 as well. It's amazing how they know the tiniest error, very quick shooting there, and look at the grouping, another X, number three, from five arrows, on great form, Kim Jijuk, Kim Woo Jin, needs to find the centre of the target again, a bit of a longer hold, just pulling through there, getting the 10 for a 29, but 17 year old here, on for his first perfect 30 in this match. Oh, and he gets it. The grouping is good. It's just outside the X, but it's still a 30. And Kim ji Juk is four set points to nil up. He is the real deal for sure. 
can do this one in the next set too. No emotion as he pumps that one straight into the extra in the second arrow. And you can see just a single drop point from Kim Woo Jin. We move on to set number three. Kim Woo Jin will shoot first, trailing by four set points to nil. And critically, could be out of this in this set. Needs to get off to a flyer. Another X. Kim Woo Jin's just going to put this out of his mind. Just hit the center of the target. Wow. That's such a good grouping. You can't see the second arrow. Two tens for Kim Woo Jin. Oh, that's close. It does look like it's clipped the line. He's indicating to his coach that it was a little high. Kim Woo Jin on for a perfect here. His first of the match. And he's put it in the X ring. So I think that second arrow is a 10, but it might go for a measure. Whatever. Kim needs a 10 here. Otherwise, the set points go to his opponent. Oh, he started to try and pull that one left. And you can see why it's drifted right into the nine. And Kim Woo Jin has won this set by a single point by the looks of things. It could be two, depending on that second arrow. You can see the wind, the digital windsock just blowing left. Didn't affect Kim Woo Jin. Well, it was a 29 for Kim ji -juk, but wasn't enough to beat the perfect 30 from Kim Woo Jin. Kim Woo Jin has got himself back into this, still trailing by four set points to two. It will be Kim Woo Jin who will shoot first in set number four. Just on the line. Settled nicely into rhythm, both of these archers now. You just look under the target face of uh, both of these archers and you just see a slightly tighter group from the 17-year-old Kim ji -juk. But it's another 30 from Kim Woo Jin. That's what he needs to do to put the pressure on Kim ji -juk. A 10 is what he requires to share the set points. And that is what he's got by the looks of things. This is certainly called as a 10 from the coach. So two 30s for the two Kims. And the 17-year-old looking like he's pretty convinced that last arrow was a 10. That's the case. It's five set points to three with Kim Ji-juk, the 17-year-old, leading.
And crucially, that means in the fifth set, he just has to match Kim Woo Jin, who will shoot first. Really stamp his authority on this Korean Olympic team. It'd be interesting if he does beat Kim Woo Jin to speak to Kim Woo Jin afterwards because he'd be thinking, well, I'm disappointed I lost, but I'm glad to have this man on my team for the Olympic Games. Kim Woo Jin will shoot first. Needs to win this set outright to force a shoot off. Good start required. You're not happy. Not happy at all. You can see that in his face, and that is why. Rice right smile on his face. But Kim Jae Jook straight into his draw. Just clipping it. You saw his face. He wasn't 100% happy with that one, but it is in the 10. Good recovery from Kim Woo Jin. What would you expect from a man of his experience and with all his accolades? Good grouping here. So this arrow is so important for Kim Woo Jin. He needs it to be in the center. Oh, that's pulled off to the left. I wonder if that hit at one of the other arrows. A 27. So a 7 is enough here for the win. Oh, put it into the X for a brilliant finish. A 30 plays 27. Three 30s for Kim ji Juk through the match. And he wins the recurve men's gold against Kim Woo Jin. A man of so much experience. Seven set points to three. We just wait for confirmation, but there's one word for this man. Uh, and uh, he's just 17 years old, but he is absolutely fearless. What a prospect for the Korean Olympic team. Kim ji Juk taking recurve men's gold over Kim Woo Jin. They'll both be in Tokyo. They'll both be in the individual. They'll both be teaming up for the team competition at the Olympic Games. It's Japan's Kawata Yuki, who's also going to the Olympic Games on home soil, who took the bronze medal. But Kim ji Juk is the man of the hour in the recurve men's discipline, taking gold here in Guangzhou.